The largest internationally conceived physics project ever constructed on U.S. soil is happening right in South Dakota's backyard. In this morning's Eye on Kelloland, Sidney Thorson tells us about the Dune experiment and its hunt to unlock more mysteries about the universe. The underground research facility in Leeds, South Dakota was once the Homestake Mine. Now it is home to many world-leading science projects like the Dune Experiment. It is an experiment to study neutrinos, which are uh, one of the most populous particles, actually the second most populous particle in the universe, but we understand very little about them. Neutrinos are tiny particles that do not react much, if at all, with matter on Earth's surface. The sun creates neutrinos. And every second, 70 billion neutrinos pass through your thumb. But throughout your entire life, only, there's only a 25% chance one will interact, interact with your body. This experiment will shoot a beam of neutrinos from the Fermi Lab in Illinois to the Sanford Lab in South Dakota. Neutrinos are so hard to discover that at the surface, there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of... Um, other particles or cosmic rays or things like that that make it very difficult to discover neutrinos. Uh, the example that I would give is it's like trying to listen to a pin drop at a rock concert. Since the Sanford Research Facility is almost a mile underground, the neutrinos are more likely to be detected. The Dune experiment is still in its very early stages. Here is what's happening now. We have to excavate large caverns. It'll be about 800,000 tons of rock that has to come up. Uh, from the underground to uh, create a space for those detectors to be built inside of. The Sanford Lab is located in a mountainous area and there is not a lot of flat space to house some important components of the experiment. So the uh, Fermi Lab, which is spearheading the efforts, uh, put out a call for a facility to be able to receive, catalog, warehouse, and bring out at the appropriate time all the pieces to this um, to this giant refrigeration unit, plus a few other things that they need that are coming from other places. Chris Chiller is the Whitewood Economic Development Operations Director. He's also a former physicist who worked at the underground research facility. The city of Whitewood, along with a few other places, are competing to provide this warehouse facility for the Dune experiment. What they were looking for was a large area where they could lay down the pieces out in the yard and then a giant warehouse. And that's something that we don't have available easily here in western South Dakota in the northern hills. The warehouse could be about 60,000 square feet, the required amount of square footage needed for the Dune Experiment components. The entire Whitewood Tech campus is 36 and a half acres. We wanted to understand what was in the area, what uh, groups were interested. We are going to craft a request for proposal uh, in the coming year-ish, uh, on the scale of a year, uh, that will give us an opportunity to actually compete that. The multi-billion dollar Dune experiment is roughly a 10-year project. There may be applications to come that are difficult to predict, but it's really a great opportunity to be involved in something uh, that, that will affect the entire world, not just South Dakota. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Sydney Thorson. Now to stay updated on the Dune experiment, you can check out links we provided under this story on Kelloland.com.